Good afternoon guys. I haven't filmed this morning, but I went into uni, got my statistics test done, it was it was okay. But now it's the afternoon recent. I've just checked into the hotel. As you can see, this is our view. It's pretty nice. Reese, say hello. What's up? It's nice. So it's very exciting. I don't have any work to do this weekend, so I'm free as a bird. Uh, and this afternoon we're basically, I think now we're gonna make coffee and just unpack a little bit and then go check the hotel out. Apparently there's a gym here, so maybe we can even get a workout in, I'm not sure. And then we're gonna go, what? I feel like such a YouTuber right now in the hotel. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go after that to the waterfront this evening, probably spend the evening there and just mess around, see what, see what we can get up to. Other than that, good weekend ahead. Keep it tuned. Okay, Reese and I are gonna go check out the uh, the gym downstairs now. And we're gonna have a little scope around the pool area and stuff just to see what the what the consensus is. Oh, it's a decent view. We've been just been looking at the cars outside. Um, some pieces of junk driving past, but also a few nice ones. Is it down there? No. They told us that it was on the first floor but we're here now it's just a maze and we can't find the gym and here's the gym it's actually not bad it's mostly cardio stuff like that is that a pack deck no what is that what is this yeah it's been a while <laughs> yeah sure buddy This is actually what I, what I do shadow boxing with. <laughs> Already chilling. Alright, now Reese now on our way to the waterfront to go look around at a few things and then go eat dinner. Looking fresh. Hey Reese, I'm fresh, right? Super fresh. Super fresh. Throwing punches. Oh. Don't mess. They know not to mess. <sighs> okay, Reese and I are back at the hotel now. We went out for a nice dinner, just had a burger at the waterfront. There's like a six hundred million dollar mega yacht um docked there. And that's that's just crazy to see that that amount of money in Cape Town because that's not something you see often. And it's so nice. Six hundred million dollars. It's a nice yacht. <laughs> 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 but yeah we're just getting changed now because it's cold and then we're gonna go out and just see what's going on around town get ready for a heavy night of drinking tried to find somewhere at the waterfront to kind of chill have a few drinks but it's boring here there's like nowhere so we're gonna go back to the hotel and find somewhere to go out we, we can't we, reese doesn't have his id so we can't go to like some club where they ask for ids and stuff so there's a place in camps bay that we're probably gonna go to most likely it's like the most probable outcome I'd say. It's what the only think? outcome. It's the only outcome. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Good morning guys we got in the, to the hotel room this morning at about like what are you doing my oh, arm's so straight we yeah we got into the hotel room probably at about two o'clock this morning what are you doing two o'clock this morning something like that and <clears throat> fell asleep woke up at six and slammed coffee at breakfast this morning but now we've got the convention on, which is in like, it's in about half an hour. So we're walking over there now because it's not far from the hotel. But yeah, a little bit hungover today, but not bad. Slight headache, but I 
I feel great. So I'll be fine. It's gonna be exciting. Reese, what are your thoughts on the Rich Dad Poor Dad convention? It was good. <laughs> Is that all you have to say? It was good. Okay, Reese and I just finished up at the convention for the day. We were there for a solid nine hours. It was very, very long, very long. I won't get into the details of it now, but we're going out to the waterfront again. We're gonna meet some friends for dinner. And a nice early night tonight, and then back to the convention tomorrow. I kinda wish we were in town for, uh, away for longer. Yeah. Oh well, gonna have a good time tonight. See the kayaks coming through. <laughs> well, that's only nice, a few nice bits of Cape Town. Very nice. Now this area that Reese and I are now is somewhere we've always kind of dreamed of living in. It's super nice. It's like a... <laughs> 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 it's, it's, ca it's these canals <laughs> with these uh, apartments all along it. And we always wanted to stay in one of these ones on the bottom or the ones on the top are super expensive and they're super nice but yeah dream's a dream it's just super expensive nice. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys may have noticed that I didn't upload uh, last night oh, yeah. and I won't upload tonight either just because the Wi-Fi in this hotel is not as good as I thought it was and if I use my data it just choose it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this all one big video and it'll come out tomorrow night which is almost better I think because then you can see all of it but yeah tonight went to a restaurant it was a nice restaurant had a steak <laughs> actually I had a, a T-bone steak and after that we went to some Irish pub but now we're back at the hotel room and it's, it's only half past nine, so it's nice and early. So there's a nice little gym downstairs and Reese and I are gonna go do a workout there. Funny, there's actually two other guys in here working out while we're in here. Did not expect that at this time of night, honestly. Saturday. So the heaviest weight they've got, the 20s. They've had to convert them to a flat bench. Oh, it's been a while since I've got these. Let's give them a push on. Honestly, after starting Muay Thai, weights are so boring now. There is. Weight, weightlifting is boring. It's so boring. Like, I much prefer to train cardio than Muay Thai. <laughs> Background music. Look at my fucking shoulder. That's what I've been telling you, mate. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Shit. Man, it's so comfy on these lounges. You just sleep outside. Ah. Okay, Reese and I are gonna turn in for the night. Mm. Gonna wake up early again tomorrow morning for another long day. So, good night, guys. It's day two now of the convention. We've just checked out of the hotel. It's gonna be another long day. Reese and I are finally done with the convention. It's now like 7 p.m. I will speak more about it once I get home because I'm in a bit of a rush now. I'm gonna get back to the hotel, get our bags, and Uber back. Love how everyone in Cape Town's like, oh, you gotta be careful. 
I don't have your phone out. I've got my phone out. But no one messes with us. <laughs> you know, don't mess. Stop. And I'm back home. It's good to be back. Reese has just left now. Obviously, I want to tell you guys more about the weekend, but I'm absolutely exhausted. So I need to take, I'm going to take a bath because it's a Sunday. Just kind of reflect on what's happened this weekend. I need to unpack as well and just have a cup of tea and unwind because I'm properly exhausted. Just finished up in the bath and I'm getting ready to go to bed now. But obviously, before I go to bed, I wanted to tell you guys about the weekend and my experience with it. So with this convention in mind, Reese and I were kind of thinking this is going to be just a great information, obviously, from Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. We thought, hey, we're going to learn some very, very valuable stuff. We're going to meet some high level people. There's going to be great other other people we can we can talk to and network with there. And those were kind of our expectations going into this thing. Now. As soon as we arrived at the convention on Saturday morning, Reese and I both looked at each other and we thought something seems a little bit off because we, we could see the type of people that were going there. Just there was a lot of, I don't know how to explain that, just not very professional people attending this thing. It was very unprofessional, like the, the, the atten attendees. And we, that's fair enough. Hey, Sure, it might seem that way, but these people at the end of the day, they are there to improve themselves and, and learn these things. So fair enough. And then we moved on to the actual convention. And Robert came on and he spoke for about an hour on Saturday. And his the, the, the stuff he spoke about was really good. It was to do with, you know, investing and, and using your money this way and that way. Yeah, I won't get into the specifics of it, but his his is very interesting and he he's achieved great success in his life but then the other people that came and spoke to us they were all fat old guys and you could you just know that this is all they have in their life they just have a ton of money and that's all i mean some of these multi-millionaires were staying in the same hotel as Reese and I, the cheapest hotel we could find in cape town and they were staying in the same hotel because they're the type of guys who say, oh, you got a skimp on coffee, don't buy this, don't buy that, use it for the blah, blah. people who, all they do is have money. They don't look after their health and they just skimp on everything. And I really disagree with that because I feel, hey, we are only on this planet once. Money is there to be enjoyed. If you're going to work so hard at something, at least use it, enjoy it. Don't just get to this weird mindset of oh, I can't spend any money blah 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 it's I feel like that's a very dangerous place to be into because I mean you look at them and they're staying in the same hotel as us and they're saying stuff like oh when you get money when you're millionaires don't don't buy this like Lamborghinis and stay in five-star hotels and stuff and I just thought to myself why you have money enjoy it sure it's not for everyone and some people might might enjoy their money in other ways but I feel like that was a very, those aren't the type of people I look up to. I personally know that I want to do very well for myself financially, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to travel. I'm going to get nice things and, and go nice places because I want to live a full life. And yeah, just looking at these guys, they're all out of shape. They don't look off. They, they speak about all this mindset and motivation and being disciplined and stuff, but You'll see them on their break smoking a cigarette and eating cake and they're just they're all fat and out of shape they're disgusting and i really don't like that i mean you look at their wives they're all twos like just really not people i look up to and fair enough they know their stuff when it comes to money they've done very well for themselves but they're just not people i look up to at all and the whole premise of the convention was basically 10 hours of them telling us, hey, this is how you make money. Oh, by the way, I have a course. And today you're getting it for just this price. And it was the same pitch over and over and over again for 10 hours. Obviously, we extracted information where we could. But Reese and I both, we, we both realized, hey, this is not what we had in mind. We thought it was going to be more of a 
this is how you should be spending your money when you have it and and spend this much save this much invest this much and and go with these sort of things but it was very much this is how you make money and they were teaching things like affiliate marketing and forex trading and crypto and, and all things that reese and i have a lot of knowledge on already i mean the people in this room we could see them all frantically taking notes like holy shit this is new stuff reese and i we've only been in this kind of online space for about a year now and we we knew all of this it's like very very low level beginner stuff i mean yeah fair enough for the people in there i'm sure that was very valuable for them but for reese and i we already knew all of this stuff and it, it felt like a bit of a waste in that regard but reese and i did have fun it was we had quite a few i think we spent the majority of the time in that hall just laughing we laugh at the dumbest things ever we i think it drove us a bit a bit nuts sitting there for so long i mean Earlier on, we ended up laughing every time someone coughed or sneezed. I don't know why, it just set us off. And I'd be sitting there, completely still, I'd be trying, I'd be like, okay, focus, there's only 45 minutes left of this one. And I'd hear a cough or a sneeze or something, I'd be like, don't, don't laugh. I'd start doing this a little, I'd start laughing. And I'd just see in the corner of my eye, I'd see Reese just covering his face. And you know when you see someone just going like that, I could see him like shuddering and stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, and it would just, he'd set each other off, I'd start laughing, but we'd be there with tears running down our faces, obviously not making any sound, but <laughs> we had a good laugh as well, but a great experience, I extracted what information I could, but definitely not the type of people I, I want to end up like, I don't like the whole very corporate kind of side of, of, of things and then and all these investments and stuff and it was a lot of it was about real estate and that's not something i ever want to invest in i don't like the idea of being tied to a specific place and it's just i don't like it i don't like that idea i like to be free and i can go here and go there so yeah very interesting there was quite a, a decent bit of, of good information one of the guys i think his name was sandy sadeja sadeja something something along those lines, he came and spoke to us about Forex trading. And I know this is something that's been around in the online space for so long and everyone's gonna roll their eyes, but <clears throat> I found it interesting more to do with the economics and, and data side of things, because that's my mind. I've got a very, very analytical mind. I like numbers and I like patterns and graphs and stuff. So that was very interesting to me, but uh, I'm not gonna do Forex trading. I, that I, I prefer to do something with a little bit more more responsibility on me like looking after other people and where, where you have to focus on many different facets and and that's just not something obviously maybe one day once i've got a good amount of money it's something i can do on the side but for now that's not my focus but overall it was a decent weekend i mean it wasn't fun sitting in the same seat for nine ten hours and then only having an hour break that wasn't nice but hey it's going to be an experience I remember forever, and I had a great time out of the, out of the hotel. I mean, out of the, the conference when we'd be doing our own thing, going out on Friday. It was nice to feel that kind of independence, and that gave me a taste of what it could be like next year once we move out. And that's just, I came back home. I was like, oh, I really don't want to be back home. I just want to be on my own still, out there in the, in the big world. So it, it was a great source of motivation. Also being in the same room as all these people who, who, who do have so much success, it is quite, it's a bit of a wake up call. Like, hey, you're not just in this bubble. There are other people who want the same things you want and you need to fight. You need to compete with these people and destroy them. And my mindset is, is, has, is and always has been, <clears throat> I can walk into a room and I will look at people and I'll be like, whatever these people do, I can do myself. I know if I, it doesn't matter how long it would take me, I know I could do it and I could do it better. And that might be arrogant or it might, you, some of you might say I have an ego, but it's always worked for me. It's always served me well. It gives me a source of confidence. If I walk into somewhere and I look at someone who's done, I mean, I'll look at these people. I'll be like, it does take a lot of hard work and it might take me long, but I know for a damn fact, I could do what they're doing, if not better than them. So that's just the way I am. But yeah, that's pretty much my, my thoughts on the whole weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit nice to have a longer video. We can kind of see the lifestyle a little bit more. But tomorrow, back to work, back to normal routine, back to uni. 
Yeah. Oh, and also I'm I'm doing the I'm starting a keto diet because this this past week I've indulged on sugar and stuff, which is not good. Which is kind of hypocritical. I was just talking about these fat people, but it's not all the time. They're they're constantly and they're just these massive bloated old guys. Anyway, beside the point, I'm starting keto. I need to go back to it. It keeps my mind sharp. That's the plan. It's gonna be a good week. You guys can go like, subscribe, comment. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me up and send me a DM over there if you have, if there's if you took any sort of value from this video. Send me a message telling me, hey James, I learned this today. Thank you. I disagree with you because of that and this. Anything like that. Send me a message. I'll see you guys tomorrow.